Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be playing a round of Hyper Mount Moonspell on Suyuto. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but anyway it says he starts with Hidden Night Sword and his weapon morphs into a stronger version when, or oh, actually Night Sword, morphs into a stronger version when his base weapon evolves. So we'll take a look at that throughout the game. But his might is 85%, which is actually nearly 50% higher than any of the other characters. He also has 195 life, which is, what, 30, 40 more than Miang, who was supposed to be quite tanky. He also starts off with plus 100% curse where everyone else is about 50% so it's going to be quite a uh, kill fest enemy fest over there but let's quickly look, have a look at his weapons the weapon is summon knight which generates damaging zones above the character and then echo knight does the same thing but damaging zones from below the character as well also to evolve it we are going to need a max duplicator so probably one of the easiest ones to evolve in terms of levels so let's get straight into it. It is Limit Break Har Harper Hurry Mode. Uh, it's going to be Mount Moon Spell. And we are going to start with Silent Old Sanctuary, move on to Wicked Season. And then I don't believe there is anything that really works too well with his uh, skill with Echo Knight in terms of damage or anything like that. None of these really, really work with it. So we'll probably go Awake or beginning depending on how we feel but let's get into it the start is really really rough uh, we actually might have or should have gone for duration uh, it can help quite a lot but as you can see they kind of uh, come from the scar and they deal damage to enemies that walk through it so going upwards in diagonals is probably the best way to do it uh, just so that you can make enemies run through it we do also want a cooldown reduction that and or duration are probably the two best to get but because he starts off with the sword as well uh, only when he gets hit uh, you don't have to really worry too much about uh, killing things that are on top of you. You do have the retaliation damage from the skill itself. Which is cool. From his passive, not from the skill. Anyway, let's keep going. We are going to grab ourselves uh, more summon knights because we do need to get it as high as possible. Because it does give us more projectiles. We then need the duplicator as well. That gives us crown, which is perfect. And because it only needs a duplicator, there isn't really anything like spectacular in terms of what we need for the, the weapon. Which is also very, very cool. Very nice to have a weapon that uses duplicator beyond, besides for the lightning ring or thunder ring. And it's just nice because uh, everything does like that. So we're going to grab Candle Labrador just so that we have the area of effect as well. And I believe we can then either go for Clover for luck, or we can do the Attract Orb. So we got our max cooldown going on right now, as you can see. So it definitely makes a big difference. If you can hear that uh, clinging sound, that's actually the, uh, the sword doing that, the Knight Sword. Uh, which one do we go for? We go for area of effect. I'm still undecided on which last passive to take. We could grab spinach. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, let's go spinach. The extra mart is always welcome, even though he does start off with more mart than other characters. But more mart means more damage, and that is always more than welcome we're gonna do Toronto's box last uh, he does start off with 50 more curse anyways compared to other characters so that's really not such a big deal for us and we will yeah, I think we can just try and get everything sorted as soon as we get the evolution done and dusted we will start uh, waiting for 
a nice juicy XP for our Wicked Season. So hopefully that all goes well for us, but otherwise everything seems to be doing well. I uh, can't even hear enemies or see enemies dying. Oh, there we go, we just had one happen. But we just need to keep going side to side. It's one of those weapons, as you can see. Everything around us does, it deals a whack ton of damage. But we will see the damage sheet. Yesterday we did do the Godai Shuffle and it did about uh, 400 plus odd million. And hopefully this one's going to be able to do more. But uh, it all depends on what level we land up getting onto, getting to, and how it goes from there. Alright, so now we stop. We don't actually want to get any more levels because one, the weapon isn't evolved, and so any levels now on the uh, limit breaking is actually wasting it because as soon as you evolve a weapon, the limit break goes back to zero. So we don't want to do anything yet. We don't want to level up more. We're gonna hope and pray that when the chest drops, it's gonna be very close to us. We might waste one level because we are very close to level 39, but hopefully, hopefully things go well and it will all be perfect. So let's see where this elite is. I don't even see him. We can actually turn off guards because I won't get to see this chest. Uh, we are unfortunately gonna waste one level. That's just how it is, unfortunately. But now the limit breaking of Echonaut can begin and it just becomes even worse. <laughs> so when you thought going down was really bad, now it goes up as well. A really, really cool looking ability. Uh, really, really nice. I think if you used these abilities on Queen Sigma, they would probably be even better. But what we're gonna do is we're going to be doing our limit break series on each of the new characters first, and then we will take a look at Queen Sigma if that is something you guys would like to see. You can let me know down in the comments what you'd like. If it is something you'd like to see on Queen Sigma, we can do that on Queen Sigma instead. Obviously, if it is on her, we can do it on Inverse as well, get even more levels, uh, as well as our con is to just push that boundary for the, the limit breaking. All right, so we are on, oh, this is also one of the characters where if you get out 100,000 kills uh, in the run, you unlock like a, a much better or a different version of the character with different stats and everything like that. So also very, very cool, very interesting. We are gonna wait for the Wicked Season before we start to do anything else. So, I mean, unfortunately this is how it is. If we move, you can see more black dots, but we don't really want that. We're just gonna stand still for another minute or so, and then we are going to go once I get the limit break, we'll do a little level up. We'll grab as much levels as possible from it. And then we will skip again to the 21 minute mark. Or even further on, uh, just so that we can get that juicy uh, XP gain. Because I'm not going to be moving much. We don't have to move at all. We can stay still this entire run. Uh, but we don't want that, obviously. So here we go, let's grab the Wicked Season, wherever it may be, there we go. We're going to grab it and now we're going to try and find uh, all that red XP, was that it? There we go, that was the one. Ooh, that was a juicy XP gain right there. And we can't even see our character right now, so... That's pretty cool, in some sense. Alright, but we got to push this even further now. So we actually have 255% curse, which is actually a decent amount. Uh, we're still killing enemies very, very quickly, which is fantastic. Let's just give it a couple more levels of this. There's a, a nice juicy one. Got another 20 odd levels. So now we've actually got a thing over there. We are going to skip to the, well, we'll do 21 minutes after the, the last Arcana and then we will see 
Uh, well, actually further. We'll do about 25 minutes or 26 minutes and we will get a juicy, juicy XP gain from there. So we'll see you there now. All right, and we're back. We're at the 23 minute mark. We just about to hit the XP cycle. There it is. So let's pick up this attractor orb. A vacuum, sorry. We are on level 160 something. So let's see how many levels we're going to get. It's actually broken the ability to the point where it's not even hitting the, <laughs> the right side of the screen <laughs> while we were leveling up. So that's actually very, very interesting. Uh, we have not picked up the Arcana. Obviously, it doesn't really matter having it. This chest has one of the candy boxes, which we don't really need. So we're just going to skip it. We like to limit break only pure builds. Uh, I don't even know where. Oh, there we go. Here's the Arcana. Again, we will go for... Uh, I haven't even been looking if it does uh, projectiles. So we could go beginning. But just for the sake of, you know, just in case we somehow magically die, we will take a wake. So the skill does kind of feel like it breaks in a sense. So at level 285 with 247 levels in the limit break, the skill does whack tons of damage, but it feels like the skill itself is slightly broken as in it's not hitting the same time as it was before oops we had orochimaru on top of us uh he died very quickly though but yeah so the skill itself is very 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 strong haven't had any issues with it from start to beginning <laughs> from start to end from start to beginning wow that's a strong skill uh from start to end again the very 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 beginning until you get all the cooldown isn't the the greatest but there are much worse skills out there that you could find that work even worse than this uh, just got damaged a little bit but I was just trying to pick up that one red gem again you can't really see anything that's going on on the screen unfortunately so that is one of the drawbacks of the the skill so at least we have a vacuum over here for our next red gem but there is a chicken over here i wish i could maybe get it without picking up there we go perfect so let's get our life back without having to pick up that red orb because it's possible that could have been even more levels pick up the vacuum and look at that we did so level 335 and we have killed 83,000 enemies we do need to get to the 100,000 enemies, so hopefully we do do that. But uh, yeah, for a solo skill that uh, seems to be off center, I guess. I don't know what the wording would be. Out of synchro. <laughs> oh, we picked up a red super candy box now. So let's see. There's nothing red here. We could grab ourselves a Geodori or Muramasa or something like that. It's really nice to see that these five weapons are in here as well. But again, there isn't anything that we need to get here. So we just skip it. What we need is the laugh and then that's it. So we are in that last, oh, I should have waited till now before we grabbed uh, anything. It doesn't even look like we're gonna land up getting the amount of kills that we need for some odd reason. Oh, there was a vacuum there, so that's nice and juicy. But as you can see, it's not going up and down like it did in the very beginning, synchronized or together. So definitely limit breaking it at a huge amount of times, getting a whole lot of levels at once does kind of break the skill. I don't know if that affects the amount of kills that you get or how it might affect the skill, but it looks really interesting. <laughs> oh, man. I see more black dots on my screen than I do see enemies. But yeah, so that was it. Let's see how much damage it did. Unfortunately, we didn't kill enough enemies. And if we compare it to the Godai Shuffle, we actually did 150 million less damage. So 300 million damage. Not bad, not great, not the strongest skill in the game, but really, really cool looking and really easy to get up and running and works well with this character and others compared to the Godar shuffle working with uh, that character b 
being a bit iffy with the invulnerability passive and how it works. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.